Okay, so in this final video, I'm going to try and recreate some of these uh, sample banners that I have on the website. And I'm going to try and recreate them with, in real time using the Easy Banner Pro Maker. So you can see exactly how I came up with all of these, or not all, but some of these designs. And how you can do the same thing using the Easy Banner Maker. So let's get started. Let's. I'm going to start with this one here, the tall one. So the size of that banner is 120 by 600. So I'm going to open up the appropriate template, which is uh, 120 by 600. So here we go. We see them side by side. You see the the empty template and the final image that I want to create. So let's get started in trying to recreate this whole thing. Okay, first of all, let's choose the color, the exact color that I have here. I can use the eyedropper tool to select the color that I like. Okay, so I'll just click on the background of this banner, and this will select the colors you can see here. So this is the eyedropper tool that selects the color. Now I can apply the color to this banner, to the background. I'm going to select the background layer, and I'm going to click here. So, as you can see, the color is pretty uh, similar to this banner here. And you can do pretty much the same thing with the eyedropper tool. You just select an example of a design that you like. Just use the eyedropper tool to select the exact color that you see in the design that you also like. And then just apply it to your own designs using the paint bucket tool. Okay, so you can do that for all of your other designs. Uh, it's one easy way to come up with the perfect color schemes. So now let's add all of this other stuff to the banner. Um, you see there's a special background effect in the background. It, it looks kind of like this, but it's not the same one. So I'm going to try and find this exact background from the banner example. Okay, I think it's this one. It's background 5. It looks very similar now. Uh, yeah, I think it's something like that. But I might want to move it around a little bit to make it exactly like that one. Okay, so it's something like this. So we have the background effect and the background color. Now let's add all of these elements. And these are going to be from the copy and paste elements from here. So let's open up all of these and start adding them to the template. Okay, so first of all, you can see the big bullets here, which you can find right here. So I'm going to drag those over into the into the banner. And what I want to do is also, I want to make sure I drag all of these extra elements above all of the backgrounds and all of the shapes on the banner. So I want to make them, you know, one of the top layers. And to do that, just select the top layer and then start dragging these uh, elements into your banner. Okay, so I'm going to choose these bullets, holding shift, starting with the top one, the text, and going to the bottom, the very bottom one, holding shift, now I have all of them selected, and now I can drag them over into the template. Okay, so there we go, they're a little big, so I'm going to resize them. Okay, so there we go. Let's position them exactly where they are on the other banner. You can use the arrows on your keyboard to make the exact positioning, or you can simply drag it with the mouse. So it's something like that. So we have the bullets ready to go. Now let's add the call to action button in here.
it's this one here so I'm gonna click on it select all of the text that comes with it holding shift select all of the layers and I'm gonna drag it over into the banner and position it at the very bottom okay so there we go I'll also move these over a little bit I'm going to drag them a little bit lower just like in the other example here okay so as you can see the banner is now starting to take shape there's very little things that I have to add to it like this one month free text you can simply write it yourself or you can uh, you know use one of the uh, copy and paste elements so here we go here's the text I'm going to put it here and now let's grab the arrow which is also a part of this package I just added added this brand new uh, copy and paste element here called the arrows and you can find them in the copy and paste elements folder so there's eight different arrows that you can choose from now and this looks like the one we want to use so I'm going to drag this over I'm going to rotate it uh, make it a little smaller and now I'm going to change the style of this arrow to the white one that you see here and I'm gonna do that with one of the layer styles here uh, I don't know the exact one but let's go with this one here so you choose the layer style that you want to use go to layer layer style copy layer style and then choose the choose the layer where you want to put the style on go to layer style and paste so now it looks just like the arrow there so I'm gonna make it just a little bit small okay so as you can see the banner I'm just close all of this so you can see better As you can see, the banner is now pretty much exactly the same as this one. The only thing missing is this image at the top, which uh, the images are not part of this package, but you can pretty much get an image like that from any stock photo website, like I recommend iStockPhoto.com. So just go to one of those websites, download one of these images, and once you have it, Here's a, how you can add it to your uh, design. So let me just look at where I saved it. Here it is. So locate where you saved the image, open it with the uh, Photoshop elements. Hold on, let me just pause this video for one moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. What, uh, we were talking about adding an image to your uh, design. So, what you want to do is you want to locate the image where you saved it, open it with uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements. Okay, if the image is too big, you can resize it by going to Image, Resize, and then you can make it whatever size you want to make it. So, let's make it a little smaller. Can go to view actual pixels and this shows you the full image here now to add it to your banner go to select all edit copy and then edit paste and the image will get pasted into your banner okay so let's put it at the top here uh, it's still a little too big so I'm gonna resize it a little bit smaller by dragging one of these uh, 
squares here. So it looks something like that. And I'm gonna move it over a little bit. So it looks just like the banner here. Okay, so there we go, the image has been added. And uh, one last thing, you see how the image blends into the uh, banner. You can do that. There are several ways of doing it. One way is using the select and then feather combination. So you choose the little selection rectangle, make a selection, then go to select and feather, and then choose something like you know, 20 or 15. Let's choose uh, 20. And then you hit delete on your keyboard. Oh, don't do that one. You have to make sure that the image is selected before you do this. So let's just select the image. And now we can hit delete on the keyboard. And you can see that the image gets like a, it starts to blend in into your header. So now as you can see the banner is pretty much created the only last thing is the logo and you can also add that just like you add the image if you have a logo created you know copy and paste it into your banner if not you can you know just write something like your website.com or just use one of the uh, copy and paste elements and again just drag it over here to make your logo so as you can see I recreated one of these banners using the system right before your eyes and you can do the same thing so this package really does work and it's very easy to use and again just try it out for yourself